Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. Today is Shadow Sunday, <clears throat> so it's time for Shadows of Brimstone. Now we are with our outlaw group. We are on the last part of our little, I guess maybe you call side mission or whatever, um, against the undead outlaw and the undead gunslingers. There will be a final confrontation this time between them and the undead gunslinger. <clears throat> And here's the undead gunslinger. We haven't seen him yet. Remember, there are the Rooker gang. We call him Al Rooker. And let's refresh ourselves <laughs> over some of this stuff. Now, the undead gunslinger, he has an initiative of eight. <laughs> You're going, wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. So he's going to have first initiative. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, his little combat stats here. Um, he has terror. <clears throat> a hero starting their activation on the map tile automatically takes two horror hits. He has dead man's shot. Two ro hit rolls of six draw a dead man's shot card instead of normal damage. Fast is dead in the west. After selecting a target and moving, place P shootout markers between split between targets within range of line of sight. Each shootout marker is a range attack with a dead man six shooter. Uh, endurance cannot take more than three wounds from any single hit and heals two wounds at the start of each turn so this guy ain't no joke man oh man <clears throat> alright so there's that and of course remember our all gunslingers they have uh, initiative of two fear two automatically adjacent takes two horror hits they have their gun Critical hits only reduce infamous hot dolls to the defense of two. So, there's that. Okay, so let's have a look at our mission here. <clears throat> Back from the dead once again, the undead gunslinger has returned to spread a deathly curse of revenge across the land. As his legion of creatures and zombies are killed, they lash out from beyond the grave to siphon the souls of those that struck them down. If the gunslinger isn't stopped before his curse has grown to full power, it would mean certain death to all who oppose him. So we start the game as normal. However, <clears throat> uh, when we find three clue icons, <clears throat> we found the undead gunslinger. We have to have an epic battle. We were allowed to take two exploration tokens out of the <clears throat> stack. And um, what we have to do is we have to place a blood a wound marker for each blood splatter on each blood splatter. I haven't done that yet, but uh, for each hero on each blood splatter. And then when the heroes get to that blood splatter, <coughs> or is it when the mind track? Let's see. Yeah, whenever a hero posse marker moves on it, we each going to take one of these wounds, and if we kill a hero, I mean, if we kill a villain, or a bad guy, we have to add uh, another wound to the blood split. So it's like a curse that's slowly taking effect. So, um, yeah. Uh, if we win, we gain some XP and some money. If we lose, each hero loses D3 health permanently. So, here we go. <laughs> now remember, we're only gonna be playing with undead outlaws and undead gunslingers. Okay, so let me finish my few little last setups, and we will get going. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, first thing, of course, we do is we roll for darkness. We got an eight. We pass. So, oh, yes. The Rooker Gang. Plus two move, plus two initiative. Uh, all Rooker Gang range to hit rolls of six plus also cost three horror hits that do two sanity, two sanity damage. This is not going to be easy time. All right, so our undead outlaw here. He rolls a one. Hey, guess what? He gets going to get a grit. I mean, our gunslinger. Blech. Our drifter. He rolls a four. One, two, three, four. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. And the bandito. He rolls a six. One, two, three, four five six 
Alright, and that's the end of the turn. Let's roll. And nine. So we're still doing good. The gunslinger. He rolls a three. And we put him there. The drifter. Well, he rolls a one, so he's going to get a grit. Give everybody a grit here. Alright, and a bandito. He rolls a six. I think we'll just move him one, two. I think that would be good enough. See, we have excavation chamber. Let me get that tile here. If you, uh, if you are a fan of this game, here it is, and, uh, just to let you know, I don't know if, if you know, but <clears throat> I also back Shadows of Brimstone Forbidden Fortress, which is a core set to this game, which actually takes place in feudal Japan. And you have new monsters and new lost worlds and stuff like that. Um, we got notification to, uh, the other day that the pledge manager for it's coming at the end of this week, and the... Uh, Hopefully, by the end of summer, <clears throat> we can get our, I can get my uh, Kickstarter stuff. I backed on Shogun level, so, you know, we'll have uh, a new Lost World, Belly of the Beast, uh, some forest, all kinds of good stuff. So, I'm looking forward to that, and, you know, of course, when I get it. I'll probably do an unboxing video and then um, <laughs> you know we'll immediately you know we'll start working on getting a campaign going because you know I love this game all right so let's uh <laughs> let's uh see what we get here um, <clears throat> for our exploration token and we have an attack e and we have one way out so let's see here we have three, and that's going to be the, I guess, the top. <clears throat> be covered, be the way out. So let's put this here, and let's see. All right, let's see how many uh, undead outlaws are going to attack our boys here. <clears throat> One. Well, that's not. Hey, hey, I should roll the peril die. I think I should. Yeah, that's not fair. Four. So I have four. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Alright, so we have four <coughs> four guys here. Remember, they're going to have an initiative of four. Now, the gunslinger uh, gets an automatic free, free turn. Remember, he has the quick draw. So let's do a... <coughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, he has two shots. And he gets a five, so he does get one hit. Um, and two. Well, that's not going to do anything. No. Okay, so that was a waste. All right, now it is the hero's turn. All right, now it's the start of a new turn. Let's go ahead and roll for darkness first thing. <clears throat> we got it. Surprisingly, can't believe that. All right, so now it is the gunslinger. He will go first. Um, let's go ahead and go with him. We have to move this up one. All right, let's see what he can do. Let's roll for movement. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'll just stick him there. And let's roll and see what we can do. Well, we do get a crit. So that's good. Uh, we missed with the other one. I think I'll just keep that. <clears throat> uh, we'll use a dead shot. Oh, six plus two is eight. That is beautiful. Because, uh... That defense is going to go down to two. So eight is two is six, and he kills one. 
So there we go. One of them is already dead. Let's give us some experience points, buddy. All right. <clears throat> However, now <clears throat> it is the drifter's turn, and he has the the knife boot. And so we're gonna. Uh, all right. Well, one, two, three, four, five. We'll just move him there. And let's see here. Uh, we're gonna do the knife boot first. Remember, it does plus two damage. Let's see what we get here. Three. Well, he actually hit. His range is three, so that's fine. Let's see the damage. Six plus two is eight again. Uh, uh, only four, however. Um, oh man, that's terrible. However, <clears throat> so that is that's going to be four damage on that guy. That is not enough to kill him. We were one short. But, however, it is his turn. We'll put a little four here. And he's going to go. And he has an agility member. He goes by his agility. And remember, his agility is three. So he gets three shots. Okay, well, that's a terrible roll. Um, two hits. I think I'll spin a grit. Okay, well, I got a crit. That's actually pretty good. So let's get rid of that grit that we spent. Okay, we'll start with the crit. <clears throat> yeah, two. Well, that's not going to do anything. So I'll spend a grit to re-roll that. Five. Okay. That's fine. And then my other two shots. Ooh, six and a four. Well, that's pretty good. So I can, uh, let's see, two. Well, the four's not going to do anything. I think that'll be enough to kill that one because that's going to be two wounds. The crit is going to be three. So I think what we'll do is we'll take this one out. <clears throat> he kills one. And then we're going to have uh, three wounds on this guy. And uh, let's give him some experience points. Okay, however, it is their turn. <clears throat> and, uh,. <laughs> wow, and you know they get four shots now. Nobody's uh, activated next. No, nah, uh, we don't want to worry about that. Okay, so uh, what I think I'll do is let's roll to see who they attack. How about that? All right, so the bandito is going to get attacked first. So let's go ahead and do him. And he's gonna get four shots. Okay, well that's two hits. Let's see if he can defend. He defends one. <clears throat> so he got hit once. He's gonna take some damage here. So he's gonna take two damage. And now we have to roll for his little horror hits, because you know he gets to, has to take two horror hits. See if he can beat that. Well, he does beat one. So <clears throat> three horror hits. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, so he has to take four sanity damage. Okay, the next one that gets attacked is the Drifter. Uh, all right, so it's four hits. Let's see if he can. Okay, well, he got hit, wow, twice. <clears throat> Let's see if he can defend. He cannot. He missed both of those. Okay, so let's see. Uh, he got hit twice. He does have a spirit armor. So let's see here. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Spirit armor. Alright, so he got hit twice. So he's going to take four damage. Uh, 
Okay. However, um, <clears throat> so he got hit twice. So wow. So he's gonna have to do his first three here. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's on rolls of six. They did do it. They did get a six. I think it was a one six. So he's able to do that. Block one. So let's see if he can use his spirit armor. No. Yes. So he's only going to take two sanity damage as well. Okay. Now it's the bandito's turn. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> now remember he has the hell pistol let's see what he's going to move two one alright that's fine and if you remember he has uh, three shots with a gunfighter pistol two shots with this one so he gets five shots well, that's some pretty good hits there uh, two hits. Yeah, that's fine. Two hits. See what he does. Okay, I was terrible. Let's reroll. Okay, well, that's fine on that one. That would be one. Now he's going to take. Uh, three corruption hits to do up to one damage so let's see that would kill that last one I right, actually only takes one corruption because of that so that worked out really well he's gonna take one corruption and he's gonna kill this last one here And of course, I'm going to put some wounds up there, so don't worry. Um, and that's the end of the turn. So, <clears throat> uh, let's roll for darkness. We passed again, so we're doing really good on rolling for darkness. And now it is the gunslinger's turn. And he rolls a one, so he's going to get a grip. Uh, well, he can't. He can only carry. He's at his max. So that's fine. Uh, Alright, so he's going to get his shots. Two hits. One's a crit. Okay, he's going to spin the grit to reroll. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll make this the crit. Ah oh, man, I don't know. See if I do that, if I make this the crit, it's gonna go one, two, and then three, four, and he make that the crit. Yeah, if I make this the crit. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will. I'll spend another dead eye. <clears throat> Five, six, two. He's going to take four damage. He's still alive. However, it is the drifter's turn. He's got one health. Okay, we got two crit hits. So I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yo-yo. Yeah. So that's the end of that. And the drifter gets his next kill. All right. Well, we should have rolled for his movement. All right. All right. Whatever. Okay. So uh, that's it. Let's catch our breath here. <clears throat> Drifter gets to do. I tell you what. He'll heal this. And the bandito. Well, wow, that's pretty good. Four, five, six. And it's everybody. Let's get a loot card here and let's see what we get. Uh, well, he's going to gain, the gunslinger going to gain $300. That's pretty good. 20 experience. The drifter 
What's this? Draw an artifact card. Alright, he's gonna gain 20 experience. See what he gets. Dark stone gloves, plus one strength. Your combat hits are plus one damage. Hmm. Huh, I don't know who I want to give this to. Uh, we'll probably give this to the gunslinger. Give him an extra strength. Nobody, none of these guys are really about your combat hits are plus one damage. None of these guys are really about hand-to-hand -hand combat, so uh, we'll probably end up selling that. And last but not least is the Bandito, and he gets a gear card. So give him 20 experience, and he gains Dead Man's Vest. You take one less damage from any hit done to you by an undead enemy. Well, all right, well that's actually pretty good. So we'll take that. Dead Man's Vest. All right. All right, so... <clears throat> See what thing says this is here. Uh, every time an enemy model is killed. Alright, so we went up against four. So we have to put four more markers whew, on this bad boy here. But so we're gonna take some wounds here. Alright, <clears throat> and I think that would be it, and let's roll for darkness. We actually pass again, so we're doing really well on the darkness. Alright, let's do our heroes. The gunslinger, he's going to roll four. One, two, three, four. We'll just leave him there. The drifter, five, we'll move him one. Let's do a map deck here. Corner passage. <clears throat> Four, five, and the bandito. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's move this up one. No exploration token, though, but that's fine. And let's roll for darkness. Eight again with the with the good rolls, man. All right, so it's the hero's turn. Let's do gunslinger. One, two, three, four, and we'll move him forward on one. A mining room. See here, it's gonna go. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna go like this. Oops, sorry, right here. We'll put an exploration token here. We have to move this up. Now let's go ahead and assign our stuff. So he's going to take a wound. Another wound. A wound. 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 And we'll do him. Now let's put three wounds on this blood splatter right here. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, the drifter. One, two, three, four. Man, we'll just move him there. And the bandito. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put him there. Alright, so let's see what we have. We have an encounter times two. And our first clue token has been found. We have only one exit out of here. So let's see where it's going to be. It's going to be three through four. So it's going to be straight ahead. And we have two encounters we have to do. So let's do these. But we found our first clue token, so that's good. <clears throat> Alright, first encounter is going to be... It looks as though this area has been used as shelter from the harsh elements outside. There are remnants of supplies in a dusty journal of 
travel throughout the unforgiving desert. Lore. Okay, uh, who do I want? Who has the best lore? Manito has three lore. The Drifter has four lore. So, okay, let's see. We're going to give him a chance. <clears throat> he did not make it. Okay. Ah, uh, man, that's terrible. <clears throat> All right, so... If failed, scrawl, the insane rambling scrawled into the journal and infect your mind and you are transfixed by the words take D6 horror hits. Alright, so let's see how many horror hits we have to take. Five. Five horror hits. Yikes. What a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, Alright, well, he gets one, two, three. So he's going to take two horror hits. There we go on that. And then roll, make a spirit. All right, his spirit is three. Okay, we passed that one, so we don't have to roll on the madness table. What a, what a horrible card. Our next encounter card is Runaway. <clears throat> Hearing a scurrying in the dark corner of the room, you, cha you charge into the shadows and drag a teenage girl into the light. No, she shouts, squirming and kicking. I'm not joining your cult. I want to go home. Okay, who has the best cunning? Uh, so far it looks like the Drifter again, so we'll try him again. Okay, that one's a pass. If successful, you convince the girl that you're here to help and she agrees to come with you. Take this card. Okay. While the girl's with you, at the start of every fright, roll a die six. On the roll of one, she was working with them all along. This card and all heroes are minus one. Their defense rolls for this turn. Fight. This card may be discarded any town to give any heroes in the posse plus two sanity. Wow. I had to boost some. Okay. All right. We can boost some sanity up there. Wow. Okay. So that was that turn. Let's roll for darkness. Devil sixes. Well, what a time to get that. And we know what that is. That is, you may immediately heal, recover. So, okay, that's actually good. We can heal some wounds. He heals three. He heals three and one sanity. And he heals. So the blood splatters didn't really affect us on that one. That's good. We've been rolling for darkness really well. Let's keep going. Let's keep this train going. Gunslinger, he rolls a two. Nah, that's not that good. Right there. Drifter, he rolls a two. And the Bandito, he rolls a four. One, two, three, four. He does have plus one move, so I guess we'll move him here. <clears throat> and I think that's it. And we won't scavenge. You know how I feel about scavenging. So let's roll for darkness. And we still make it seven. Look at that. Alright, Hero's turn again. Gunslinger, this time he's going to roll a 6, so we are going to get a new map tile. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, Dusty Crates. gonna go like this put him on there we have our exploration token here let's move this up one all right let's see here and I think we're good on that so let's roll for the drifter well he's gonna roll a one and he's gonna get grit bandito that's one, two. Alright, so that's the end of the turn. Let's see what our exploration token has for us. And we have an attack, but our second clue. So we have our second clue. And we have an attack. Yes. Okay, so, oh, that's right. We have two exits the way out. Let's roll to see which exit is not the way out. It's three through four, so this one is not the way out. 
and we have three enemies attacking us. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's see here. Uh, let's do the, uh, the gunslinger. He will go, remember, and he gets a free attack right when these guys are put on the on the board. So that's fine. So let's do that. And he actually gets a critical hit and a, another hit. So he gets two hits actually. Oh wow! Look at this. Six on the crit is going to be four and then plus one from the other hit will be just enough to kill one of these guys so that's pretty good okay and now let's roll for darkness alright we failed on that one, that was our first fail I can mean, I complain about that okay so let's put a wound marker here, we've killed one Alright, so the gunslinger is going to go, and uh, he rolls a three, so let's one, two, and we'll stay there. We don't want to be close to him. Let's roll some die here, see what we do. Now, we are have passed our first, so we're blood splatter. Because of the bloodborne pistol, we get plus one damage. Oh, that's a terrible roll. Let's, uh, let's re-roll that. Alright, well that's only one hit. So, let's see how much damage. Well, that's terrible. So, nothing happens there. Okay, the drifter's going to go. He rolls a two. One, two. Remember, he gets three shots. Oh, that's right. Let's see if he's in range. One, two, three, four. He is not in range. So, the boot. We're not going to get the boot. Not this turn. Oh my god, what a horrible roll there. Alright, so I'm starting to roll bad. Let's just do the grit. Okay, well that's a little bit better. That's three hits. Oh, and that's actually pretty good. Two, four, five. So <laughs> he killed one as well. Alright, well that's, that's about as perfect roll as you can get. <clears throat> that's 45 experience, but we have to put a wound marker here. And uh, the bandit, uh, the, actually, this guy's gonna go. So let's see who he's gonna attack. The gunslinger. <clears throat> All right, four shots. Two hits, we have a one six. Can he defend the six? He can. Can he defend the other one? He cannot. So he's going to take <clears throat> two damage. Okay, and last but not least, it's the Bandito's turn. And I think I'll just move him one, two, three, four. Move him around. He's going to go. Remember, he gets five shots. Well, I have <clears throat> okay. That's one hit. <clears throat> well, that's a big fail. So nothing happens with that. That's the end of the turn. Let's roll for darkness. We we pay it. All right, gunslinger's up. He rolls a one. So let's give him a grit. He's gonna go. And let's see here what he's going to do. Well, that's uh, two hits, actually. Plus one damage for each. One, two, three. All right, so let's see here. If I can re-roll, if I do that four, that's going to be five. And then if I do a dead shot, six, seven. Still not enough. Let me re-roll. Well, that's actually better right there. So that's enough to kill this thing. So, all right, so we put another wound here. <clears throat> Let's give him. Some experience. Let's catch our breath. He heals. 
He's healed. Alright, let's see what we get here. Uh, Gunslinger gets a gear card. Look at that. And he gets Scafford Buckle. Huh. Plus two health. Game one. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I think I want to keep that. Wow. We have $100 and 20 experience. And then here we have Darkstone Rock. See how many he gets. Two. Okay. Let us roll for darkness. And we failed. All right, so that's like we're going to get a darkness card this time. Let's see what it is. Ambush attack. One night terror. Terror from beyond. No, we're not doing that. That's against our theme. So let's draw a different one. H, okay. Screams of the damn. Each hero takes three horror hits. Also, okay. It's stolen for sorry. Right, let's see. <clears throat> Each hero takes three horror hits. So it's the gunslinger. Well, he passed except for one. Sorry about that. Phone again. Um, Alright, so he took a horror hit. And let's see his roll for a side bag. Alright, his side bag is safe. Now, uh, the drifter here. Well, he passed one. So he's got to take two horror hits. And let's roll for his side bag. And his side bag is safe. Alright, so the bandito. Ooh, he failed that. So he's got to take three horror hits. And let's roll for his side bag. Of course, he's the one that had the dynamite, so it's gone. No dynamite. Okay, well, uh, that'll probably come back to haunt us. <clears throat> All right, it is our hero's turn. Let's roll for the gunslinger. He rolls a four, and I think what we'll do is we'll just move him. Hmm, should I move him up or down? Uh, let's move him. Move him down. How about that? One, two, three, four. Drifter. One, two, three, four, f four. Uh, we'll put him there. One, two, three. And we get a new map tile. Underground Lake. Hmm. So this is going to turn around. <clears throat> He's here. And he goes here. Alright, so we do have an exploration token. Let's go ahead and see what it is. And it is our third and final clue. So here we go, the undead gunslinger. Let's move this. So we actually don't have to take none of that crap. The wounds and stuff. Alright. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and put an end cap on there. Let's uh, see how many undead outlaws we're going to get. Okay. You know, though, I don't know if I should... I think what we're going to do... He's legendary. And I think what we're going to do is he will... I'm, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about him being just his own super boss, you know? Um, I think, it, now it would be harder, of course, if, of course, he had his minions with him. But... I'm thinking it would be more badass and cool, more cinematic, if here he is, all by himself, not scared of three heroes, 
and it's just gonna take all three heroes on. You know? Um... <clears throat> Hmm. I think. I mean, that would be kind of cool. I mean, you know, um, it's just show his level of badassery and how serious he is. Hmm. I don't know. Um, let me think about it for a second. Okay, so I thought about it, and as much as I'd like it to be badass cool with that, I've never fought the undead gunslinger before, so I don't know if this is going to go easy or hard. So I decided to split the difference. I put one undead gunslinger, undead outlaw, sorry, for each hero, and we have the undead gunslinger. This may backfire and it may kill my heroes, but I think that just, I don't know. I still like the idea of just him being there by himself, being a total badass to our three heroes. But, you know, I, I may regret this decision. So, okay, here we go. Now, we know he's going to go first. <clears throat> so, uh... He gets two shots. Uh, he's gonna. Hey, he has a move of six. So um, yeah, his range is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, he's going to uh, attack the bandito. I, I think what I'm gonna have him do is he's gonna attack a different person each time. <clears throat> now he gets two shots, but you know if he gets a six, it's a dead man shot. So. see oh wow and he looks like he well he hit one he hit one so can the bandito <clears throat> uh, block that he can so that's fine all right now it is the gunslinger's turn and I think I'll move him one two what's his range seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can hit him. Okay, I think pretty sure he couldn't, where he was on the board, he couldn't get his free attack because he was just too far away. However, it is his turn now, so let's do this. Let's try to get this guy taken out. All right, I got a, I got a good roll there. I got two hits. <clears throat> One's a crit. I get a plus one damage. Alright, see here. Hmm. If I use that four, that's five because of my thing. Six, seven. Uh, two defense. That is going to be a kill. So if I use a dead man shot, I will kill that one. So, this one is out. <clears throat> Remember, he didn't start his activation on the same tile, so uh, there's that. All right, the Drifter Well, that's kind of going to suck. He only moves one. He gets a grit. But that is not going to help. And now it is these guys' turn. And they have a movement of four. So what I'll do is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And <clears throat> I think I'll just do it where they attack the gunslinger and the bandito. How about that? All right. So <clears throat> we'll attack the gunslinger first. Well, actually, they have plus two move. So I think I may move him there. One, two. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, we'll still do that. And uh, let's see here. They get four shots. So we'll attack the gunslinger first. Okay, that's three hits. 
Let's see here. Three hits. One six. So see if he can block this. He cannot. <clears throat> cannot block that. So he's actually going to take two wounds. And now he has to do uh, three horror hits. And he blocked all of them. So that's good. And now his other two shots, could he block those? He could not. Yikes. So that's four more damage. He took a pop on that one. Okay, <clears throat> the Bandito. Alright, well he got hit three times. No sixes. He can't block any of these. He blocks two. So he's going to take two damage. Okay, so it's the Bandito's turn, and he will, he does activate on the same tile. <clears throat> so he has to take two horror hits. And he fails them both. Alright. Take one last damage from your hit date into you by a dead enemy. Oh, okay. Well, he's. Minimum of one. So, okay. I forgot about that. The dead man's vest. Alright. So, the bandito's gonna roll. He rolls a two. I think it'd be fine for him to stay where he's at. He gets five shots. Let's see what he got. <clears throat> One hit. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, he can. Re he's gonna spend a grit. He can recover grit on a roll of one or two. So we'll stay with one of his and re-roll here. Well, that's much better. Wow, that's two crits and two hits. So let's see what happens with that. Well, that's terrible. <clears throat> um, and I will spend a grit to re-roll that. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's see here. Two crits. Well, let's see here. That's going to be... Three. All right. Well, he kills one. <clears throat> so that would be one one damage. Well, no, that would be taken out. Two crits. So that's going to be three and three six. That kills that one. So there's that. Okay. It's the end of the turn. Let's roll for darkness. Double fours. Let's see what we got. Falling rubble. Each here on the mines immediately takes D6 hits. Yeesh. Alright, so the gunslinger is going to take five hits. Yeesh. Okay, he's going to take three hits. This is not looking... This is not looking good. One, two, three. Okay. The drifter <clears throat> takes one. See if he can block that. He does not. And the bandito takes six hits. Jeez. Blocks one, two, three, four. So he's going to take two hits. The Fallen Rubble. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so it's the Gunslinger's turn. <clears throat> Let's move him. And he went after the... Uh, the the Unknown Gunslinger went after the regular Gunslinger last time. So let's move him. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... And he will go after the bandito this time. <clears throat> and 
he missed. Oh, he hit once. It's a regular hit, though. Can we defend? He cannot defend. So, he's going to take... <clears throat> Two damage, but it's only going to be one because of the dead man's vest. Okay, so it's the gunslinger is going to go as a roll for his movement, and we'll keep him where he's at. And um, we have to do his horror hits now. <clears throat> All right, let's see, he passed those, that's fine. So he's going to get two shots. See what he gets. Okay, that's two hits. One damage, three damage. We use a dead shot, so it's going to be three damage on this guy right here. The drifter's going to go. He's going to go four, one, two, and he's going to attack the gunslinger. Now, he did technically activate on that tile. However, he blocked the sanity damage, so that's fine. So he gets three attacks, and we also have the boot knife, so we'll do that as well. Ooh, you know what? I forgot to do the runaway. Let's see if she rolls a one. She does not. So we're going to get plus two sanity. <clears throat> okay, so that's terrible. Two hits. Hmm. That's fine. Alright, well... <laughs> Okay, so neither hit works. <clears throat> However, he's going to attack with his boot knife. And that is a hit. It's going to do plus two damage. <clears throat> Alright, six plus two is eight. He can only take, he takes three damage. That's, that's not bad. Three damage. <clears throat> 15 experience for that. Sorry, 5 experience. Okay, now it is the undead gunslinger's turn. And let's see who he's going to attack. His will attack the bandito. <clears throat> There's 4 shots. And he hits twice. No 6s. Can we block those? Well, we can block 1. So we're going to take <clears throat> Two damage. Actually, one damage, because this guy's undead. All right, now it is the bandito's turn. Let's roll for his movement. <clears throat> okay, and let's uh, see about his terror. Right, he fails both, so he's going to take two sanity damage. Oof, he's pretty close. Well, no, he, he does have a few things, but. <clears throat> All right. All right, so. <clears throat> He's going to go, He remember he hits five shots. That's some good stuff right there. So that's three hits, two are crit. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. Uh, well, that goes out. <clears throat> that's going to be one damage on that. Um... Let's see, three, okay, that's enough to kill. Let's kill this guy right here. He's dead. We're putting one damage on the undead gunslinger. <clears throat> it's 
so that's good. That is the end of the turn. So let's roll for darkness. We passed. Huh, that's pretty good. Okay, so now this guy regenerates. So he's going to heal two wounds. And he's going to go, and I think the drifter is the only one he hasn't attacked yet. So he's going to attack the drifter. Ooh, and we did get a six. So... Can we block the six? We cannot. I'm going to spend a grit to try to block that. That's a dead man's shot. Okay, so we block the six. And we block the other one. That's fine. All right. Whew. That was pretty good. All right, so... <clears throat> the gunslinger is going to go. Let's do see if his horror hits. He does not pass, so he's going to take two sanity loss. However, he's going to use his catchphrase, and that lets him heal two dice, six wounds. That's five wounds he gets to heal, so that's fun. And he will attack. Let's <clears throat> roll for movement. No. Okay, so he's going to attack. All right, we got a crit <clears throat> and a regular hit. Of course, I'm going to use the crit with this. So that regular hit's going to be a 1. This crit is going to be enough to, well, he does 3 damage. And that's <clears throat> that's all he can take. Actually, he could take 1 from that. He could take 3, 4. That would be 4 wounds total. So, 2 and 4. He had two, he's going to take four, he's going to have six wounds. Okay, the drifter's going to go. Let's roll for his movement. Alright. And let's roll for his fear. And he passes those, and he's going to attack. <clears throat> and he gets one crit. Oof. Okay, well that's actually going to just do two damage. He doesn't have the uh, the other thing, so he's going to take two damage. All right, <clears throat> the bandito is going to go. <clears throat> he gets five shots. Let's roll for his movement. He gets a grit. Um, his terror. All right, he did not pass either, so he's going to take two sanity loss. Now he's getting real close to going insane. Um, <clears throat> it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he has a total of eleven. So he two more, and he's 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 pretty nuts. Yeah, he's pretty much out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's his turn. He gets five shots. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Let's re-roll that with the grit. Well, that's a little bit better. Two hits, one's a crit. Okay, well, this is no good. Uh, there we go, right there. That's going to be three more hits. Three more hits. <clears throat> All right. And uh, let's see here. That is it for that turn. So let's roll for darkness. We failed. So there's that. So this is going to move here. This guy's going to heal too. So we're at nine. This guy has a health of <clears throat> 19. All right. So it's his turn. 
So we're going to move back around to the <coughs> uh, gunslinger. He's going to attack <coughs> with his dead man shot. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, let's roll the peril die. See how many shots he's going to get, actually. Three. So he's going to get three shots. Yeah, let's do one on each. Gunslinger. Drifter. Bandito. So he hits the Drifter and the Bandito. Can the Drifter block it? He can. Can the Bandito? No. So the bandit is going to take one more wound. Okay, and now it's the gunslinger. Let's do his terror. He passes both. And he's going to shoot. Uh, Alright. I forgot to roll for his movement. Uh, okay. Two crits. That's great. Okay, well that's terrible right there. That's actually terrible. However, um, all right, he can take from a single hit. All right, well this is a crit, so two and three. So he can take three more. Five, two. Okay, and that one. <clears throat> The other one's a one, two. I can use my last dead man shot. That would bring it up to three. So it's going to be another three. That's 15 damage on this guy. Okay, the drifter's got to do some horror hits here. Uh, he passes both, and he's going to go. He gets a critical hit. Look at this. He hits three hits. All are critical. One is critical. Oof. Uh, so that's going to be three. Okay. His next hit does not get past defense. And the last hit does not get past defense either. Alright, <clears throat> so there's that. Now the Bandito. Alright, he passes one. He's only going to take one Sanity. He's getting real close. See his movement. Four, okay. He's going to go. He gets five shots. Alright, and he hits twice. See if they can get past his defense. No. I do not get past his defense. So, that's going to be the end of the turn. He's going to heal two. <clears throat> and let's roll for darkness. And we don't make it. So we have another darkness card coming. Alright, let's see what we have. Each hero must pass an agility cave in. Agility six plus. Okay, so uh, we have an agility of three on him. Yeah, three. So is, does he? He does. He passes. The drifter has an agility of three. He does not pass. All right, so he has to take one hit. That was only. Okay, can he block it? No, he cannot. So he's got to take a wound. And he has an agility of three. <clears throat> and he passes. Look at that. Okay, so they all passed just about the cave in. All right. So <clears throat> that was that. It is the gunslinger's turn. He's going to get five shots. Oof. Okay, let's... uh. Two, one, two, three, and let's see who the lucky one who's not going to get shot at the time, and that is the bandito. Okay, so we have two for the gunslinger. 
complete mess. Two on the drifter. Alright, that's one hit. Can he block it? He cannot. So he's going to take two damage. <clears throat> and one on the bandito. That's a miss. So this guy is rolling. We are so lucky. Alright, <clears throat> gunslinger's turn. <clears throat> Let's finish this. Two of horror hits. Uh, he's going to take one sanity. Let's uh, roll for movement. Maybe we can get a crit. No. Alright, so he gets two shots. We have one last dead man shot. So, Alright, we have a crit. We have a crit and we have a regular hit. Let's see how much he's going to do. Okay, that's going to do three damage. Alright, so one more hit. And this guy is dead. And let's see what we roll on this. Six. He's dead. We did it. Huh. We have killed the undead gun slinger. Ugh. I'm curious. Let me see what some of these dead man shots are here. The shot does 12 damage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and ignore any armor. Holy cow, man. <sighs> wow. The shot does na no damage but causes two die six whore hits. Holy cow. It's a good thing we didn't get none of that. Three damage, ignoring defense to the target as well as any other adjacent. Shot does d6 damage. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's uh let's grab some loot and we have some gold nuggets. The gunslinger, three hundred dollars, twenty experience. The drifter, twenty experience, and a gear card. Outlaw armor. <coughs> minus one agility, minus one initiative, but plus three on the armor. Hmm. Requires strength. Uh, well, the bandito could wear it. Minus one initiative, agility, minus one initiative. I'll probably sell that. It's gonna go to the drifter. So we'll probably sell that. I don't yeah. probably sell that. And the last loot is gold coins twenty-five dollars. Twenty ex twenty experience, twenty-five dollars. I say let's say let's say we sell this and we sell the Darkstone gloves. So the gunslinger is going to get five seventy-five for that. And he's going to get one thousand two hundred dollars for that. <sighs> nah, that's not bad. <clears throat> he has two dark stones. So let's give him two dark stone. And let's see how his corruption hits for each dark stone. Uh, yeah, two more corruption hits. <clears throat> so on the way, he's gonna have to, you know, get get rid of that. And for our mission, we each get fifty experience. And D6 times 50. Uh, so it's $300. All right, so we're racking up some money here. This is exactly what I wanted. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let me get my town set up, and we'll, we'll get going.
All right, we're back. First thing I was able to do was I was able to level up the gunslinger. So he is now level three. And I gave him a um, cool hand. And that's basically, um, he gets plus one shot, uh, but he, and he suffers no penalty for it. But he is minus three initiative. So I can choose to go, hey, I'm going to go down minus three initiative, but I'm going to be cool hand. I'm going to get plus one shot. Okay, so I rolled and we, we went here. So the closest town was Cordis Claim, and it was only one hex. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, we're only going to do one encounter since it's one hex. I'm going to start doing it like that. For every hex, we're going to have an encounter. So let's roll for that. It's going to be five, four. And, um... Army convoy. When the heroes reach town, any rolls on the camp site hazard chart or the ton event chart are plus one. Okay. And that's that. That's it for that. Alright, so we are at a mining town, and a mining town, in case you didn't know, is well supplied. It has to have a general store location, and everything is sold at a general store is minus $25. Rich local deposits. Uh, their next venture to mines, any time finds gold, they gain ten dollars extra. Any time they gain dark stone, they gain one extra shard and void activity. Roll an extra die. Uh, uh, when rolling, you see there's a town event at the end of each day. Roll an extra die. Well, we're only going to be in town one day because we're saving up our money. We're not going to buy anything, <clears throat> and all locations are minus one. Heavy rain. Yeah, that's not good. And the only thing we're going to do is go to the doctor. And we want to send the bandito to the doctor to get rid of his corruption. Um, and then the gunslinger, of course, and the drifter will go to the blacksmith to sell the dark stone items that they had, the armor and the, the, uh, the um, gloves. So we'll start with the uh, blacksmith here. <clears throat> we get a seven, so we get a six, no event. It's fine. We sell our stuff. We're good. Let's go to the doctor for the bandito. That's five, four. Uh, all purchases are extra hundred dollars. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we got plenty of money. So let's do the uh, here. We're at the doctor's office. Well, that was a blacksmith. I'm sorry. Yeah, for that. And let's do the doctor's office. And we do a three. <clears throat> Make a luck five. If you failed, you contract the plague. All right. Luck. Well, we have a luck of two. I think. Let's see here. Yep. But we pass. So, it's no problem. <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. Um, well, actually, the good doctor has run off. We were minus one. I forgot. We were minus one to the roll, minimum of two. And we rolled a three, so that was going to be a two. So the doctor is not here. So we don't have a church in this town, so we can't treat corruption. So our guy has three corruption points that are going to last until the next adventure. That kind of sucks. <sighs> right there, down. So that kind of sucks that we have that. Um, his runoff. And since we were only here one day, it doesn't look like anything else is going to happen. I'm not buying anything. Um, I'm a member or I'm trying to save up some money. And I think that's going to be it. Alright, so we have completed our mini campaign, our side mission thing. It took three times. We, we played with the Frontier Town, two of the mines, the Undead Outlaws. And the undead gunslinger. So what's next for our outlaw group? Well, 
Um, I can tell you that the next mission for the Outlaw Group, we're going to go revisit another world. That's right, we're going to go back to another world. And I want to keep that a surprise. I won't let you know. You have to tune in next time for the Outlaws. But yes, we are going to another world. I hope you enjoyed this. And so until then, I will see you and have fun.